Ok, uh, desculpe a malta, uh, sorry guys, uh, but I have a problem with connection. The connection here is uh, it's terrible, so it, it's why I'm not doing on the other day, yesterday, the video. So let's see, it's go right again. <laughs> É verdade, João, já voltei. Esta porcaria da internet aqui está completamente horrível pá, e tem sido mesmo uma desgraça. Mas vamos lá ver se agora conseguimos voltar. Reiniciei o PC todo, agora vamos lá tentar ver se ele não fica a meio do processo. ok? Uh, então vamos lá uh, e não esquecer que este vídeo vai ser completamente quase todo em inglês. Portanto, as perguntas que vocês me façam eu também vou fazer em português, sem problemas nenhum. Então vamos passar aqui para a outra câmara. E já cá estamos. Uh, guys, like I said, I'm going to start putting the primer uh, on this. So for the for the first color it's going to be the German red brown or the rotten brown. And this is going to be the main color and then I will put the rest of the of the colors with rust and making the chipping and you are going to see the process. So 50-50% uh, uh, with thinner, so the primer guys like the paint shake it very 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 well I put a steel ball inside, it helps me this to mix the primer very good so this is a little tedious to see, so let's open this okay and let's put primer okay for now I put just 20 drops inside All right about the same amount of these and of course a little left airbrush flow improver now let's mix this nice I got here one to mix I like to mix my things Olá Nuno Joaquim boa tarde tudo bem so I delete the other video and let's start painting this so I don't need to go very uh, strong on this because I want the, the black primer to show you some uh, effects of uh, dark effects okay Olá Pedro, grande abraço so I will rest to the the track First coat is done. Now I will use uh, my air dryer. Hello, Sadesh. Hello, my friends. Zé Freitas, como é que é? Tudo bem? Boa tarde. Luís, como é que é? Tudo bem? Grande abraço.
So this is because you are making lots of questions how I ship my my vehicles and my airplanes. So this is one of the ways to show you. Uh, I don't like to make uh, that kind of tutorial videos. I don't like too much because it's better uh, when I do and you guys see uh, direct if I make some mistakes you can see uh, the mistakes I do so it's so simple as that and because I'm doing this it's because there's so many questions about the chipping mode and I will show you guys so now let's go to the top Now I'm just going to use my air dryer again. So I'm just going to see here the front, it's nice, what I want, and I'm just going to put right now the turret, so that's why I don't put too much on these, and I'm going to give two a color there. Some of this part it's going to be steel. So I don't worry too much about that. Okay, so we're done with this. Go cleaning my airbrush. And just put some here to, to clean this. So the primer is a bad thing for your airbrush, you know. I am using the Air Cobra. Uh, it's a zero three point needle, and I like it very well because it's it, it have a big mouth, and it brings lots of the primary out. Now I just clean a little this one, and it's good to go. So later I will put this on YouTube, okay, so guys can see uh, later if you want or you can see right here on the Facebook. Olá, Carlos, tudo bem? É verdade. <laughs> Sim, mas podes ir falando comigo que eu vou te responder, não, não tem problema.
Olha o Zé, está caladinho Zé. Como é que é? Como é que estão aí os meninos e as meninas todas? Tudo, tudo nice? Isso é o que interessa. So now I'm going to remove the turret and put away. So I, I got right now this one. So the first color I'm going to use it's the rust color and then I will use the orange rust okay to give a big highlight to this. Um, you guys are going to see. So let's check the first one the rust. So the trick now, because this is a very small scale, it's to be random, okay? You don't want to put all over the rust color, you want this uh, rotten brown, you want the rust color and the orange too. So you want three uh, different colors of rust and then I will put the filter and you guys are going to see. So let's shake this very well. I'm going to use this direct without any any thinner. Okay, but it's very important to shape this really nice. And yes, the um, I am using 2.0 bars on my airbrush. Okay, now I have the rest color and so I'm going to be random you see there we go yeah uh, when you are you when you are doing uh, like this like this tank uh, you must see uh, on the beginning uh, where you want to make the chipping the areas where more weathering so it's important to use <coughs> at the beginning this put on your pants So <clears throat> just this, now I will grab the other part and do the same thing around. So let's grab from here first. And just be random. Okay, it's good. The first layer. Now let's grab this and put this away to dry. And on the tank. Zemota, tudo bem? Tudo bem? So if you want to make a rust, uh, all a rust, it's uh, about the same process. So more color, and let's do the bottom. On the tracks, I put more right here. You can see. And we 
are done with this color. Oops, not this one. I kept it right here. <laughs> so now, with the air dryer. And you can see it's very quickly uh, drying this and because I am making very thin layers uh, I don't have the problem uh, to the paint for, for drying okay and of course in this scale you need to be uh, more creative because you want to make illusions of this uh, if you try to go very very uh, <coughs> to make a very good model okay you just have to have some skills uh, but uh, normally the good thing on this is to make uh, illusions all right the illusion is going to work better now I'm just going to put here some drops of the cleaner, okay? Because I'm going to change the color. You don't need to go crazy and clean all the the airbrush. And I'm using a zero three point needle. Now let's go to the iron breast. To make cunha, botar tudo bem. Bruno Blay, como é que é rapaz? Está tudo bem em casa? Espero bem que sim a todos, que é muito importante. I hope everyone in, in, with your families are ok. So, a big hug for everyone. Uh, let's say again, stay home, ok? Like I, I am doing. Ok, so, mixing, ok. So again, without any thinner, and you can see it's very strong this one. Now you must be more accurate on this, and don't try to go too much crazy. I put the turret because I want. To, um, you see, with the uh, with the lights, I got some dark spots so the light helped me a lot normally what I do I use a, a candle and I put there and I can see the the, the dark sides <laughs> so let's put this like this to the color and let's start putting So like I said before, random, it's the key for this. On the turret, when your brain said to you uh, just a little more, it's when it's good to go. So uh, grab a, a table like this, uh, or this one, or from the meal, is because it's good to put around um, and see all the model and see if you are doing okay on this or not okay so 
Now let's go with the air dryer. So now I'm going to remove the turret and you can see lots of rust effects so simple All right now let's flip this and make the same thing on the bottom I'm just going to put a little more to put on the tracks and on the wheels too. And we are good to go. So just put a little <coughs> of the cleaner and clean this, it's very important to clean your airbrush. So we are done, let's grab the air dryer again. Message. Okay, respond. <coughs> Sorry, guys, just a little. Okay, done. Now let's flip this, and now we don't need more color it's up to you guys for me now it's good uh, the first one and now I'm going to grab uh, the model wash and this is the light rust for this what I'm going to need so I'm going to grab a cap so remember this is idly pigment so you need to do deal with this and I use for this time I am going to use water not thinner because if I'm going to put thinner on the top of this without any varnish it's going to pull up some of the the paint and I don't want that so I'm going to just use this with water simple tap water guys Two drops and now water. About seven uh, drops of water. Now I will grab a flat brush uh, like this one. Uh, this is a little strong, this is uh, for drying dry brush, uh, but I like these ones to make. Uh, what I'm going to use now 
so because I'm not I'm going just to make a filter and not and not making a wash so you can see I am I see on all this so this is a filter guys but with acrylics I'm going to put in all my model and when this is going to dry you're going to see all that three colors we put the rotten brown with the rust and the orange rust you can see some of the calling changings on this right now you can see and you can see it's not arming at all the paint so we don't want uh, to put uh, to make a wash okay just this is a filter like painting a layer a very thin layer on the tank and I think you start seeing so many different uh, different tones on this so I'm putting all around this now I will use the air dryer of course to start this one to go and we'll go and change a little color See all this so simple. And as you can see, this is just a uh, rust color. It's you don't have any chipping on this. The chipping process it's two way process. Is the chipping with the fluid, and then we are going with the. Uh, I like the color chocolate uh, from Vallejo to make uh, that difference. So let me just kill this one. Now let's go here. You can see now the difference right there. Uh, let's go right here. Uh, estes produtos são todos, uh, Manuel, isto é tudo à base de água, ok? Valejo é tudo à base de água. Portanto, nada disto é à base de óleo ou o que for, tudo à base de água. É por isso que torna-se fácil, uh, é por isso que se torna muito fácil depois uh, usar o secador para tal. Now here on the bottom. So the filter it's a little 
like uh, it's a layer okay guys don't forget that I am not making a wash this is not the correct way to make a wash this filter what is do uh, it pop ups all the things I use before the three colors I use it's going to pop up you can do this with a um, airbrush too you can make this mixture put on the airbrush and put it but because yeah, this on this scale I like to do with the brush because I can go everywhere I want as you can see in the wheels I am doing this re really random I am not worried to put in all the model here and we are almost done with this Okay, let's put this and use the air dryer and we are done. With this. So just use the air dryer again. And you can see on the bottom the change of the colors, okay, we got so many rich colors here. <laughs> Hello Dobos! Sim, João, é verdade. Quando estamos a trabalhar com, com acrílicos à base de água, às vezes é complicado. Uh, se, não temos, se não temos cuidado, depois fica lá manchado. É o único senão dos acrílicos, mas permite-nos estar a trabalhar bem mais rápido. Sim, o José Freitas e os vernizes, exatamente a mesma coisa. Podemos utilizar o secador sem problema nenhum. Já te vou explicar, já te vou explicar a diferença, uh, José. We are almost done with this. Now I will go and make a different before go to the other step. So I will put the turret. Without the filter you can see the difference right now I will grab where I put it uh, right here so I got the dark one so I will use the dark one now for the turret just a little I am cleaning the cap and this is a very strong color I just explain the situation of the vernizes sem stress, so just one drop and five drops of water. Okay. Now again with the, the same brush, let's mix this. So you see, it's a very strong color. Now I will go around this piece because it's uh, more exposed to the elements uh, 
and we are making the first illusion all right on the model we are making a more dark part on the tank and normally we are we do on this more bright but I want to this to be more uh, dark because we are going to have the V1 on the top and the V1 it's going to change a lot the view of this so you see here if I put too much just simple just grab a napkin remove the excess and touch there and we may remove the excess so easily uh, but important it's not leave this to dry because it makes a big mess just a little around here the turret on inside because it's more dark okay Now I will go here, rotate a little, this, and with the same dark color, I'm going here on the on the vents, grills, and put more dark on this. So this is the second stage of the illusion. Round here the edge too, so a little round here too. To see what I'm doing. Now just with water I'm going to smooth a little the things I do it's just like we do with oils a little too much right here right now let's use your dryer again I'm smoothing a little this. This is not completely 
it to rhyme. So what I'm doing is removing some marks just with water. And okay. It's good to go with the varnish. So let's remove this and put the first coat of varnish on this. Uh, you are talking about the polythrene varnish. When you shake this you see it's very um, thick. So what I use normally it's uh, a 50 percent with the thinner to make the layers of the, the varnish. So for this, because I want uh, to have control, I'm going to use the satin for this. So check it, nice deal. And we are going to put this on the airbrush. And why I am using uh, varnish for this part? I want to save all the work I do on the tank. So if I don't use a um, coat of varnish, uh, it's going to remove a little of the paint too and I don't want that to happen so I'm going now to uh, protect the, the paint I do now I'm going to with the coin for this thing that's going to lay the water sim é verdade José, olá José, tudo bem? também funciona bem com com isso que tu disseste uh, o Tina normalmente é o que eu utilizo neste processo é a melhor maneira dá mais proteção O limpa para brisa, uh, para brisa às vezes não é tão bom, acredita. Eu costumo às vezes dizer, às vezes não vale a pena a gente inventar muito. Há tantas teorias por aí que às vezes se torna complicado, mas só às vezes saber o que fazer ou quem acreditar é um bocado complicado. Por isso, às vezes, o que é que eu digo às pessoas experimentem as várias situações e aquelas que se vocês sentirem -se mais confortáveis, pá, sinceramente, utilizem. Eu próprio, às vezes, utilizo uh, produtos extras para fazer certas coisas que acho que resulta bem comigo. Estou simples como isso, não é? Ok, o first coat and just one coat, guys. Right? So this is, is just a thin, uh, very thin coat to protect the model. Now I will put the turret. I will do a little diorama for this because there are some guys uh, ask me how to do some dioramas and I will do it for this scale. And I use this.
and just this. You see, with five drops of uh, of varnish and five drops of thinner, we do all the tank, and we don't need too much of this. So a very thin layer just to protect this. Okay, just clean. Now let's use this. So about 45 minutes to make all this process done. Now it's time for the chipping. Now we got so many answers about the chipping, how to do the proportions, uh, what to use to thin, do, do I use the airbrush, do I use a, a brush. So you can go with the brush and you can go with the airbrush. I will do the, with the airbrush, it's more easier to put this on, on the model. Um, the right proportion of this, uh, there is no one, okay? If you want a really, really, really heavy, you just put this direct with, uh, with the brush, not, not with the airbrush. For the airbrush, you need to thin this. Uh, for this, I like to use water, okay? You can use thinner or other thing, but I like to use water for thin this. And the proportion normally I do for this is about 50-15, okay, so I put 5 drops of this, I will put 5 drops of water. Um, but when you are thinning this, uh, when you want uh, smooth uh, chipping, you put more water, if you want a strong, you put less water, alright? Pessoal, se vocês quiserem fazer um chipping mais pesado, uh, podem ir direto com o pincel, neste caso, porque isto é um modelo de escala pequena. Uh, mas normalmente o que eu aconselho é 50-50 e com água. É o que funciona bem comigo e é o que eu tenho gostado de utilizar. Tento não utilizar o thinner, pode afetar um bocado a pintura. Uh, e se quiserem uma coisa mais simples, ok? Por isso vão acrescentar mais, uh, mais água, neste caso. ok Quanto menos água tiver, mais o, o vai ser a reação forte. E a reação vocês vão ver. Depois o shipping deve ser feito por partes, não é fazê-lo todo de uma maneira só, porque depois se nós pusemos água, ele vai ativar uh, e depois quando começa a secar já deixa de ser ativo. Outra coisa muito importante, não pôr este produto e deixar para o dia a seguir a secar. Usem um o secador também e mal seco, mal peço, perco o brilho, podem, devem começar logo a utilizar. Ok? Neste caso, acaba, uh, acabamos de pôr, ele seca, vou pôr a cor base por cima e vou logo começar a arrancar com o shipping. Portanto, é bastante simples. Eu neste até vou fazer aqui uma camuflagem rápida para depois vocês verem uh, a diferença que é. Guys, if you are using this, when you put this on the model, you are going to put a color uh, or a camouflage scheme, don't wait this to dry for the next day. If you do that, it's going to be more difficult to remove uh, the <coughs> the paint you put okay it's going to be more difficult to activate this again so you grab a couple of hours to make this you can do this and wait for the other day but when you are going to work with this try to work on the same day and because it's all acrylic you can go use your dryer and make the process running uh, without any problems all right so Let's make a stock and let's go in. Can, can hear it's very thick. This one, so normally it's what I use, it's a 15%. It's in, and it's what I'm going to use. And to do the chipping, I will show you some things I use to make the chipping. Okay, whoops, it's fall down. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, so. Let's put some drops here on the airbrush.
so I put 10 drops of this now water Ten drops, and now I will use just a little of flow improver, and I will put two drops of that. So it's a mix of 50% with two drops of the flow improver. It's going a lot to uh, not to dry on the tip of this. Another thing, you can do a light coat, less chipping. A heavy coat, more chipping, okay? Even with these uh, things. Hola Tiago, grande abraço amigo. So we are ready to go. And you can see it's very thick out of the airbrush. And this is a 0.3 point needle. side too when you see this is all your model is bright it's good to go now as you can see I can use again the air dryer And if you put a thick layer, don't worry guys, uh, the next step I will show you how to, to go with the chipping. Almost there. You see, it's shining, but it's lose all the shine of wet. So now I'm going to remove the turret, the turret I will do uh, out, now let's go to the bottom and put another layer, uh, a layer on this, sim senhor, Jefferson, olá, tudo bem, sim, é muito melhor, depois o, o importante depois é o que a gente, o, como é que a gente faz o shipping, como é que deve fazer, eu já vou mostrar. Ah, Jefferson, em relação a, a, às cotas, não te preocupes, eu não, por acaso não te disse nada, mas não te preocupes, ok? Vá, ah, grande abraço. Ok, 
and then with the chipping. So let's clean the airbrush. Okay, okay, and clean. Sorry, guys, this step it's very, very important to me the cleaning of the airbrush. Go again with the air dryer. To dry this with the, uh, with the air dryer, it's more time, okay, of the paints and, and all the, the varnish, okay. So be patient. <laughs> so guys, if you want to share the video, so just go without any problems, okay. Uh, the other day some guys uh, asked me if I can share my videos or my friends, you can share uh, with no problem. Jefferson, uh, se utilizares a 02, pronto, já tens que fazer uh, a diluição um bocadinho mais diluída, ok? Para passar bem na, na 02. Uh, lógico que isso torna o processo um bocado mais complicado, uh, mas se usares uma 03 ou mesmo uma 04, ainda melhor, ok? Sem problema algum. Now, let's go and put the turret again. And I'm going to make a hand free camouflage on the tank. So the first layer, uh, so I'm going to use this set. This set it's uh, ready to go paint. You got the schematic uh, here on the back how to make uh, all the steps. This one is made by my friend Chema Cabrero from Vallejo. And Let's go and open this. As you can see, we work, we have the colors we need for these. So it's model air colors, all model cars, and we got the surface primer if you, if you want to start with this and all the model air colors for this. So I'm going to make a random uh, camouflage for this. Uh, I have so many camouflages in my head, so I'm going to try to replicate someone of that on this. So, what I'm going to choose for uh, the first color, uh, I don't really know. Let me see what it's good, what I want. So, maybe I will go. Yeah. I'll go with this, this is the the light and that's it's what I'm going to use this color okay so just make a random uh, around this okay remove the turret always 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 go on the bottom of the lower hole it's better so this is uh, just little bottles, but it's the same colors of the model air. So let's 
So you must check. You must check. So in one hour we reach all this process now. And on this one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. So ten drops of this. One, two, three of the thinner and just one of the brush flu improver. Now let's mix this. Let's start making the first layer of the color on this one. So very light. We start building color. I'm not worrying about the tracks. And you don't want too much paint on this. You can take advantage of the rust we do on the tank uh, before use that for the highlights and the, the dark. Okay, now as you can see here on the fender, just with a little of the mist of the, the paint I paint this part in the center and it makes the dark color of this yellow, just simple as that. Now let's go on the top, now I'm going to put it out. Let's go again with the color. Okay, we are going to need uh, more color. Take it easy here on this uh, grill vents because this is a photo etch part and on the photo etch part you need not to put too much paint. If you put too much paint it's going to fill some of that holes and then it's a mess. So 10 drops, airbrush flow improver one drop and a thinner and of course mixing
you see I am always turning around the model because I don't want to put too much paint on one, just one side okay and like this it's more difficult to overdo it this is just so beautiful color I have some here on the airbrush to go to the wheels and I need just a little more right here I'm going to grab this and just make a little of the color on the wheels. And we are done with the main color. So this is the main color. Let's just clean. And we are ready for the next color. So I will do uh, three uh, colors, schematic on this with uh, the green, this one, and I use, let me see what I am going to use, the rotten brown of the burnt amber, alright, so what I am going to use, yeah, I am going with the burnt amber, and this one is going to be the camouflage. This nothing to it's all this is the olive groom, yeah, and I go with the olive groom. So these three colors now. So the pattern it's going to be uh, very easy. So you guys just to demonstrate how I do. So first I'm going with a light color, so it's going to the green color. Yeah, no, shake and shake and shake and shake. So this is the most important part, is shaking well uh, the colors. So this now, it's where it's going uh, normally having some mistakes. Uh, I will thin this, but just with the airbrush flow improver. I'm not use, going to use any thinner for this. So for 10 drops, I use uh, 3 drops of the airbrush flow improver. Now let's try, and I'm going with the zero trim needle again, and let's see how it goes. So now let's put the model like this and let's try to make the first stripes on this.
so a bit smooth it's it's better if you go again and do more strong if you want so just make some lines then I will uh, remove the turret and finish See the pattern right there. It's going to be some around here. And again, subscribe all of these. So the first one is done at this point. And two more green ear. Remember always uh, the way you put the turret because of the, the marks you do. Now I remove this, you can see it's not finished. I will finish now. See now I am doing more strong. See, now just a little air drive for go to the sides of the tank. on the front we got one line there and now let's do the wheels you see the pattern here on the side let's try to make something there, you see, the, you see here going on this side, it's on this side. So it's so easy. Now let's grab here this part.
Just grabbing right here. And then with the green, so simple. And let me see if we are You can see so easy. And remember, thin layers, it's better. You can do more than one passage. And you control what you're doing easily. So enough with the olive groom. And now let's go to the burnt humber. It's a dark color. We're going now to give life totally on the tank. And the reason I am using a <coughs> light, a very light and it's because if you make too strong and you make a mistake, it's uh, more difficult to correct. And if you make light, you can go again without any problems. Again, and put more strong the color if you want. So let's shake this nice. Remember, shake it very well for it helps a lot the, the paint go out of the airbrush. And we'll do the same thing just with uh, the airbrush flow improver, just clean a little my airbrush. It's very important to have the brush, uh, the airbrush always clean. Okay, now let's go and make the mix. You see, very strong color. So I so about sorry another bottle in the ground. So today someone wants to talk with me. <laughs> it drops and three drops of the airbrush flow improver and when I remove uh, my brush from the jar of water you remember normally you, you put another thin uh, with a drop of water so you thin more this so let's go to adventure and see how it goes so
Oh dear. Remember, later you remove the turret and make the thing you want there. Okay, now let's go here, go here, going to put just a little here. Now let's put more strong the color. Now it's time to remove the turret, but for that, don't, re don't remember, remember, you have the dryer. So I will take some picture later and you guys can see this, uh, I'm just going to take here some picture with my, uh, let's put my battery there, and first of removing I will take some pictures. Delete, guys. And now I uh, will 
over here to see the pattern there okay now let's remove the turret and correct now these lines you can see I always uh, almost get all there And of course you can do this with masks without any problems. But you, if you make this uh, and free more times, you are going to make better more times. Turn all the vehicle and see the parts you need. And for making this end free, you just have to have confidence in you, okay? And that confidence you don't learn anywhere, just you, your work, okay? And remember, this is a, a model, guys. If you paint and you don't like it, you can paint again. Or what you can do is put like I sometimes do, I have some models and that's where I call the the shame <laughs> the shame spot alright, because some models I do not always are good and I have like a wall of shame now let's do the wheels it's the same process, you see the lines, it's the lines you are going to do on the model. It's that one of the things I, I, I like is paint the wheels uh, on the model, guys. Of course, I respect all your process. You must paint on the way you feel comfortable, guys. Don't let the other guy say it's better this way. You are doing wrong, okay? Just uh, learn with your mistakes, okay? Uh, listen what the guys have to tell you. It's very important uh, because some guys are telling really nice things and some guys are just saying crap but even with the crap you learn uh, how to do better all right now we are almost going to the chipping process and in a one hour and a half we do all this paint work on the tank So now it's so pretty, so bright, okay, <laughs> but you can see right there, so simple. The tricks I will paint later when I start doing the chipping, and uh, I like to paint the, the tracks on the tanks, guys, always, always for me, like that. So now we don't want to scratch the paint, just grab a napkin. I'm going to fold this in like this and now we are not want to make uh, bad things on the on this 
So here you don't have camouflage, but it's better to start on the bottom of the model on the things are more height so you can take control a nice what are doing so I now I have here just clean water and I will show you the brushes I will use okay this one's this one's and I got somewhere another tool where I put it so if you see my desk guys so the most important tools on this it's very expensive guys this is very very expensive you must work about three or four months <laughs> for this Roberto hola <laughs> un abrazo is this a toothpick it's a very expensive <laughs> instrument to use on your model guys so this is very important when you are doing uh, little chippings okay so I got now here uh, these brushes maybe I'm just going to use this one so it's the same uh, Vallejo dry brush okay you can use a, a different brush more just this is going just to put water right and this is going to be the, the first of scrubbing to remove uh, the little of the paint and mostly it's going to be with a toothpick because this is a very little and I want to work nice and for that too another tool indispensable is my glasses so let's put the glasses and what we do we work on sections guys don't try to work uh, on the put water all over alright so I'm just going with water on the brush and I'm going to put water on the bottom right here on the top it's very different way you see just right starting to come out so it's very uh, easy to activate this one Now you can see I will almost receive um, clean all the water and let me try to zoom. Let's see if, if this makes the zoom right or not. Okay, being struggle why? Let me put some light right there. yeah you see just removing like this a little you are activating and you don't make too much strong on this when you see you see just with little you see the point just like this you can activate this on the edges to don't put you just scrap with the side of the brush you see so I can go and do like this So normally the problem guys is because you put too much water and it activates. If you want to make some uh, marks, so just use this and you can see it's very easy to remove the paint. Okay, when you, th you think more, no, no more, just go and it's good to go.
you're on the side and you, you're on the bottom you can do some heavy shipping okay just making like this because it struggles a lot with, with the ground with many grounds and climbing up the eagles it's normal to make this see so be gentle if you want more just grab another big and when it's scrubble make like this so when you think these brushes are bad, no they are not bad, they are really good for this kind of work. Now it's very important to be in scale, okay? Don't make massives. Chipping on these. Don't go crazy. <laughs> you see, a brush like this, it's good. Okay, don't don't put on the garbage. You are going to need it for this kind of work. Okay, like in here on this edge. If you want to make a very edge, uh, very use it, just scrape around it it's going to make a depth I'm going that feeling of 3D I think okay this is a 3D but you're not it's not a flat thing okay So see some some uh, rust pictures, and you guys can understand this very well. You can see here. This is not a very um, a very natural chipping. Okay, I make two hearts. So let's try to open a little more, like this, like a heavy bump there. Much better now. You can see if this make a, like a kind of foam, it's normal. It's because it's activating. You see, so simple. You can see here on the front. Now let's work here on the back of the tank put water to activate and remember when you are putting water it starts almost to activate So you need a stiff uh, brush to do this works. If you are using a very soft brush, it's remove a lot. So it's very important guys to have control when we are doing this. See now here on the recess of the panels.
just activating a little there. So I remove a lot because this is the area we have lots of chip on this. Okay. So then now let's go to the top. You see the difference? So now let's work in um, sections. Okay, you see some of the water go right here. So here I can touch and it starts uh, to go out. And because we have more time with the water to activate. So I'm just going to go and work this front panel first you see so easy this to go you see if I go with the front it makes a big one so like this with the side I just work The recess there. Now remove almost every water and start working on the top, the point there. Making this scrub, it will start activate there, and we have the first chipping on this panel right here. So when you see we have not too much control, just go with the toothpick and do like this. Very soft. So there are other brands of these on the market, like Mick Jimenez, like KK, so it's up to you. Uh, of course, it's very different of this one. If you are ask me which it's the better, uh, I use all the three. So normally if I paint with the uh, mic paint, I will use the mic product. Simple as that. If I use Vallejo, I use Vallejo. I think like that, it's better working stage. So now I'm going to work on this side panel. Let's put water. You see, too much because it's a very thin layer. So this happened to all. Now I will show you one of the things. It happened. It's always happened normal on this, but it's very easy to. Uh, to repair this mistake, you see the color. It's uh, it jump out for a darker color and on the green. So you see the yellow color right there on the on this brown color. But don't worry. Don't try to to remove it because you are going to make bad thing. So you just leave this to dry. And when you are going making the chipping with a chocolate a color you are going to put on the top and this is uh, have, uh, it's going to be really good so this is the happy mistakes we have now 
De nada, Roberto. <laughs> Yo que agradezco. Estáis mirando. So let's work now here on the top. We got the color there. So this is the process you have to be very patient. And the best way to learn how to do the chipping is to sing the photos. Don't be mistaken about some guys correcting you, you're not doing well, it's not like this. Guys, look at pictures. Uh, I love to see pictures of old tractors because you see how it goes. And for me, it's really good. My friend David Paris uh, like tractor too, so sometimes we share uh, pictures <laughs> of old uh, tractors. Uh, I go and ride my bike, and when I see that old tractors, I stop and I take some pictures. And David makes the same thing. Just changing a little the angle of the camera, and you can see better. So I am in a position, difficult position, for you guys to see. So it's normal to happen some mistakes there. So I'm doing here heavy chipping. And later, with the, the things I will do, it's going to be really nice. You are going to like it, guys. This, that is going to be on another video, because if not to be this too long, Some guy thinks you just put this on the top and just start scr scrubbing. It's not just like that. Patient guys. And when I will start putting here the filters on the top of this, it's going to be fantastic guys. So far so good, I'm going to remove a little more here. So when you are doing camouflage it's normally to this to happen, the color is going to put more uh, on the top, but I don't worry about that, it's going to be really awesome later. Now, this is one section, this is one, and this is another. So I will start first right there, just putting water around this. And start scrubbing very, very light. I will pass with a uh, little pick around all this 
and on the edge it's two. When you see those guys using a uh, tool, um, scrubbing a lot, it's because they use air. Uh, I'm sorry, liquor. Uh, no, no, I don't remember. No, um, for the hair. Okay, the other thing. So today it's not my bright day. I will remember, and I told you. So in some projects we need to put more, scrub more, and with this we don't make, we don't need too much. Just control. I I, need, I prefer like this because where I want it's going to be more chipping. I can do in some other techniques it's not so good because it's removed too much. And I am doing a kind of heavy shipping for you guys to see. So, right here. A little more strong here. Now with the toothpick, let's go. So this on 135 scale it's more easy. Because it's more big. And on this scale it's more difficult guys. Again here on the back. So uh, in on the top of the V rocket, it's uh, normal to have uh, more more uh, chipping because the guys are always uh, on the top of this. So more heavy chipping on this. Okay, now let's work around here. Water.
so guys be careful don't overdo it take patient okay working gear on the vent So I'm going to put water here on this panel too. But of course there are areas where it's going to have more chipping. And this is a technique you need time to master it. <laughs> Sometimes I'm doing some works and it's not good. Okay, it's normal, guys. It's very normal. You don't do this nice at the first times, first, not just one, not just three. João, não, uh, a escala, os, pin os pincéis eu uso exatamente os mesmos. Uh, é só a pressão que eu ponho mais sobre o pincel, para ser melhor ou não, por aí fora. Portanto, não, não foge muito. É normalmente estes pincéis que eu uso, ou tenho uns pincéis também, pá, aqueles que a gente compra na loja dos chineses, que são os de pelo de porco, brancos, que são muito duros, esses também são muito bons para o shipping mesmo muito bons this is the things we can do a lot of works with, with weathering So when I will do the rest of the chipping with a brush and a sponge, that is the times I correct the things I want on this. So almost done. Now let's go here on the side of on the wheels too. So just put water there.
don't put too much here because later with weathering you can make it better so it's not good okay and we are almost done with this so guys I hope you enjoy it so this is not today a, a conversation of today like I do and the first video I deleted because it's going down with this damn internet so here it's random completely random Okay, the process for an airplane it's almost the same thing, uh, but he have different tools to to do that. Yeah, synthetics are down. Okay, I'm not possible because the logic synthetics are new. Oh, 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 João, o melhor para isto são os synthetics. É o que eu estou a utilizar são synthetics. Uh, nós precisamos de alguma rigidez para trabalhar com eles. Nós, se nós formos utilizar pincéis de pelos de Marte, que é impensável. Isso não é bom, sinceramente, isso não é bom, porque é demasiado mole e perdemos muito o controle. Agora vou dar aqui uma secadela rápida, so I'm going to use the dryer a little and dry all the water. Put more art on, on here on the vents for it to go there. If you see, if there's some uh, paints on the top, so just go with uh, something to like X knife to remove it. It's good to go. So I will do this later. Uh, because I don't want to give you too much of time seeing all the process on this and now you can see the difference uh, with or without so on this tank we have so many little tiny parts to paint and going to give life to the model I hope you guys enjoy it I will post this video on YouTube and I will post uh, some pictures of this. Uh, on, <clears throat> on the next video I will do, uh, first I'm going to put its uh, satin varnish again because uh, I'm going to start working with the filters and when I work, I'm going to work with the filters I don't want to activate again uh, the restovers of the leftovers of the chipping medium. So, to block that, I just use uh, satin varnish, two coats of that, and I can go next again. But that I will show you on the next uh, on the next video. Okay, so let me go here just a little, right there, right there. 
this one. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, this is a video uh, with less quality because I made on direct on Facebook. You can see on Facebook too. Uh, but these guys are watching this on YouTube, so it's not the high quality I normally I do on my videos. So, muito obrigado por terem visto. Uh, amanhã, se tudo correr bem, uh, o meu problema tem sido com a internet, acreditem. Uh, podem pensar que às vezes, ah, é preguiça e tu gastas em casa e não quer fazer nada. Não, não tem sido nada disso. Uh, tenho mesmo tido problemas com a internet e como vocês viram, comecei a fazer o vídeo e depois, ah, foi isso abaixo. Amanhã, uh, vou continuar com isto. Uh, vou começar a ver os filtros, as, uh, as primeiras pinturas e, e o shipping que eu vou fazer por cima. Portanto, eu vou fazer depois um shipping por cima. Toda esta tinta que ficou sobreposta sobre, uh, uma sobre a outra, eu vou utilizar isso com, com pincéis pequenos para criar, começar a criar textura. E vou utilizar um produto da, da Valeix para dar também textura. Pá. Para fazer o shipping podem fazer com a cor chocolate ou com esse produto que eu vou utilizar que já tem textura e para aí a cor do Rust vai, quando quiser aqui vai ficar brutal, ok? Portanto amanhã, por volta da mesma hora, há, pronto, da mesma hora, há de 35 e às 6, eu cá estarei outra vez para mais um vídeo, ok? E com as tais novidades dos bundles, portanto vão, vão checando aí a, a, o site da Workit e o a Facebook da Workit para verem as novidades que vamos ter e as promoções, ok? Pessoal, até amanhã! Guys, thank you very much for watching and a big hug. Stay home. Fiquem em casa, não se esqueçam disso, hein? Eh? <laughs>